Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is from America and it's an East India Pale Ale. 6.9% ABV and it's from the Brooklyn Beer Company, Brooklyn, New York. Or the Brooklyn Brewery, Brooklyn, New York. It's a pale ale. There's a lot of writing on there so I'm going to give it a read, but first of all, let's crack it open. I'd like to thank uh, my brewery tap for sending me the beer. Check them out, they've got a fantastic beer range. Um, from You can get beers from all over the world at their website, mybrewerytap.com. Be sure to check them out. This beer is pouring out It's poured out with a, quite a small head half, it's probably half a finger very small head there um, It's slightly murky just ever so slightly murky with hardly any carbonation at all the aroma, oh, it's classic, absolutely classic. This one's um, slightly grapefruity, the aroma, but you could, you've got a fantastic malt backbone as well there with this drink. So let's dig in. That's different. That is different. You do get the 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 typical piney grapefruity taste there, but also, and it, and it comes in first, just beats the, the the grapefruit taste. It's it's a malty, got a beautiful malty backbone to it. Oh, so. The, the, the malt is absolutely lovely um, and then the grapefruit pulls through slightly piney ever so slightly got, got like a, a small amount of a fruit taste going on there the beer it floods your palate with flavours Absolutely floods it with, with flavours, but it's it's very very nice. The beer itself, there's a nice bit of lacing on the glass. I could drink this. I could have an evening on this one. Most definitely could I have an evening. Um, not sure if I could drink too many. Saying that, you know, with an evening, I think I'd have to pace myself with it being 6.9%, but I could definitely have an evening on it. Definitely, the, the malt is great. It is absolutely great, followed by the, the wonderful, wonderful, this is just hitting your IPA class with the, the percentage is 6.9, it's just shy uh, of an IPA, but it is a pale ale. I'm just going to read out what's on the, the bottle while I'm here. Um, strong beer, absolutely. It's Brooklyn brand, East India, East India Pale Ale. Um, product view of USA, 6.9%, it's in a 355 centilitre bottle. Um, the best before is August 11. Water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Reading that, reading the, I, I knew there was another flavour in there, I just couldn't quite get it. But reading the yeast,
I know yeast is in nearly all or all um, alcoholic beverages, but you can slightly, you can just, just taste this slightly yeasty flavour as well. Right at the end is the last thing you get, followed by, well, the last thing you get with the alcohol. The alcohol then coats your mouth and it. The beer now itself, right now while I'm speaking, is going down and it gives you that lovely, lovely warming feeling as it sits there in your belly. I do like that feeling, especially on a cold day. It's about minus six outside. Um, there is a bit of history on the bottle. East India Pale Ale is our version of the sturdy ale made by the British brewer George Hodgson in the 1820s to survive the voyage from London around the Cape of, of Good Hope to Calcutta. East India Pale Ale is brewed from English malt and hops and will taste best before the freshness date indicated. So we're currently in December 2010. It don't go off until August 11. Please well, right to the brewery and whatever. And their, their website then is www.brooklynbrewery.com. Now, that's quite interesting because it's worth noting that the British invented this style of beer, the IPAs, the pale ales, and it just, it just vanished. It completely vanished. You do get IPAs in this country now, but they're like three... 3.2%, maybe you might get one or 4%, very, very low alcohol content. Whereas the Americans seem to have picked up the old style of the British brewing, um, thanks to Sierra Nevada Pale, Pale Ale and, and Sam Adams Boston Lager. And they've really evolved it into something quite special, very special indeed. So great that America's taking this on and uh, it's growing around the world like, like no one would believe. It's really big at the moment so I'm just going to rate this beer now. This one because it's quite high in the alcohol volume of 6.9% it hides it very well. The flavours are fantastic. I could see myself drinking three maybe four of these um, on a night. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's very flavoursome. sits in your belly well. The alcohol goes down beautifully. Um, gives you that nice warming feeling. It's citrusy, grapefruity, it's piney, it's malty and you can taste a slight bit of yeast which for me is another flavour. It's great. Um, thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide. If you'd like to get in contact with The Real Ale Guide you can Twitter me at Real Ale today. Um, send me an e email at realguide at googlemail.com. Visit the website www.therealaleguide.com. Um, but most of all, leave your comments. I love your comments on beer. I really do. Um, I try and answer everyone. Um, subscribe to my channel. But thanks for watching Real Ale Guide. There'll be more beers in the future. There's the bottle cap. And cheers.